Hello guys, one of the arguments I hear against Laravel collections versus arrays is that collections are slower. But are they? Let's test it out. I asked my colleague Nanius to create a small demo project for me and let's compare array operations versus collection operations on pretty similar things they're trying to do. So imagine the scenario of you have 100,000 users in the database or in my case in the CSV. I import them from CSV like this into array. And then the goal of your page is to calculate the popular first names of those users. So a few operations need to happen. You need to have the first name separated from the last name. In my case, it's just the first name, which is wrong. But in general, in Laravel default factory, it's a full name. So you need to separate the first name, then group by amount of people with that name and then order by descending. The result is something like this. The most popular names ordered by descending, something like this. And let's see how it's performed. So with arrays, the theory is that we have only one run through all that 100,000 users, one for each. And then inside we perform a new array, adding more data to it and only then sorting. So we have one run through the full data and then sorting of much smaller amount of data. In collections, we're doing the same thing as a collection chain. So first we transform the array into collection, then we map through that and get only the first names. Then we filter out, for example, the names that users don't want to be included in this list. Then we group by and map with keys and then sort. This is the way I came up with to perform the same operation. Maybe there is a better way. If you know about it, shoot in the comments below. So let's see how they performed. I will just comment it out, echo the array result difference, echo collection result, and then die so we don't need the visual view and we refresh the page. I will zoom it in a bit. And as you can see, the difference is pretty clear. 0.09 seconds for the arrays and 0.18 for the collections. Let's try it a few times. 010.20, But it's roughly the same. It's twice as fast. So this may be an argument against using the collections and some people are right. But let's dig deeper what exactly takes that much time. So for example, let's comment out only collect of users. How much does it take just to transform the array into collection? Refresh, it actually is zero. So that part doesn't take any time. Let's comment out the map. So the first run through those and getting the name. Refresh. Okay, so it's the same time, 008 here and 008 here. And that actually performs, I think, the same thing. One run through will take just 008 second. Let's refresh that. So even that alone will not be faster than the whole array because it's one run through 100,000 items. Then let's comment out another run through. We're filtering the unneeded items and let's see how that would impact. 008, it is 009. 009, a bit slower, but not by much. Refresh again. So it adds like 001 second because the operation itself is lighter than extracting the first part of the string. Okay, now group by. Let's comment that one out. By the end of group by, you should have names grouped by with each other. We refresh. And here's where we have the main difference. 017, 017, and then map with keys and sort from my testing. Don't add much more than that. We can refresh so it's 016, 017 or something. So the main stopper and slowing down is actually group by. What happens inside of group by? If we click that and go to vendor and check that out, it's actually quite a lot of things happening here. Array shift, value retriever, then for each, then inside of that another for each, creating new objects, offset, and then finally map inside if there's no next groups. So group by in itself is a specific collection function which takes quite a lot of time. So my point here is that it's not comparing collections to arrays because quite often it's not the same functions that are executed. To perform the comparison, you need to debug the actual collection methods that you use. And if they appear to be slow, 
maybe you need to refactor the collection operations themselves and use some other collection chain or other methods. That's why I asked you maybe you have another solution for the same thing with collections. So if you add that in the comment, I will be able to retest it and reply to your comment with the result. But in general, the conclusion of slowness collections versus arrays, first, it's kind of comparing apples to oranges because it depends what operations are happening in arrays versus collections. And also keep in mind that if you have 100,000 records in the collection and then perform the collection operation, maybe you need to rethink the strategy of how you get that data in the first place. So maybe you want to filter that in the database, which is the fastest usually. So I would defend the collections that in some cases they may be slower, like in my example, but every example is individual. So trace down your example, debug your example, and then make the decision or make it advice of which to use. The question to you, have you done any benchmarks like this of arrays versus collections? Because I see people tweeting and replying to comments like collections are slower, but do you have versus? the test, the benchmark with numbers, with data, just like I did here. I would be glad to share your research if you have done something like that. So share in the comments below if you have anything. And finally, for the collections, I'm planning to release a course about collection chains specifically with a lot of practical examples. It should be out at the end of June or maybe July. And you will get that as a course, as part of yearly membership on mylaravaldaily.teachable.com. So subscribe to that and see you guys in other videos.